Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you the pedals I made. So first of all, why did I build them? I recently got into sim racing and quickly realized that a good pedal set really goes a long way in providing a realistic feeling. So I did a little research and found that pedal sets can be really expensive. And so I thought, why not build my own? So I designed a pedal set that is relatively cheap compared to like Hoisingville pedals or even the Proto Simtech PT2s. I had two main constraints for building them. One, again, they had to be cheap. And two, I had to be able to make them myself, meaning I could only use the tools at my disposal, so no fancy CNC machining or anything like that. But at the same time, I didn't want to make them out of plastic only, so they wouldn't break into pieces as soon as I stepped on them. So the way I designed them is, first, every aluminum piece is rectangular, so I can just take some aluminum flat stock, mainly 30mm wide and 3mm thick, and just cut it to length using a metal saw. The second part is that the whole structure is held together by screws, so I don't have to cut any fancy shapes into the flat stock pieces. All I had to do was to drill a few holes in the right position. Now fortunately I do have a 3D printer, so I could use some printed parts, which made it a whole lot easier to keep the cost down. For example, I could print these pivot joints that connect the threaded rod to the pedal, so I didn't have to buy them. And they actually work great due to the way they are used here. The only real force that acts on them is compression force, which is a type of force 3D printed parts can actually handle pretty well, so they work great in this scenario. Another thing are the plates on the top of the pedals where you put your feet. They consist of two pieces. One of them is a little block between the aluminum pieces and the other is the plate itself, which is just screwed onto the block while the block acts as two things, a mounting point for the foot plate and a piece holding together the two aluminum pieces. Now. Moving on to the brake pedal, this one uses a 40 kg load cell, so it doesn't matter how far down you press the pedal, but how much force you apply to it. And that creates a really good feeling when braking. As you can see, I can't even move the pedal a whole lot, and that's due to the rubber springs I use, which are pretty hard compared to the metal springs used in the other two pedals. The load cell itself is just mounted to the pedal frame using two screws that go perpendicular to the frame pieces and provide kind of the mounting structure for the load cell. Lastly we have the clutch pedal. This one is actually pretty similar to the throttle with the exception that the pivot point of the end stop is mounted a lot higher and that allows the pedal to simulate the feeling of a real clutch, meaning that you can feel the bite point when you press down and release the clutch. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this little overview. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And thanks for watching.